Hi friends I have make this video tutorial for those person who want to know how to make Query plugin. So for that I have make this video tutorial. In this video I will make Query plugin for form. From this plugin you can put required field form validation on form text box and you can also check some fields like username and email data already inserted into database or not without page refresh. If you are working on some project and in that project you have work on form and in form you want to fix some text box must not be blank and also check that text box data not already inserted into database. So for this things you can use this type of light code query plugin. I have mainly make this for this beginner programmer who want to learn something about how we can make query plugin for our web based application. For checking data already inserted or not I have used PHP code for backend to check data already inserted or not and I have used Ajax request for execute backend code and by using Ajax request all things will be done on web page without page refresh. Now I have started to describe how we can make simple query plugin, but before I have show you about database. This is my testing database and in this I have one table register with three field like id, user and email. I have already inserted two data into this table, in first it I have inserted John Cena as user and John at the rate Cena.com as email and in second did field I have inserted the rock as user and the at the rate.com as email. Now we will make query plugin for check no one can again use this data as user and email. This is my working folder and in this folder there is three files like index.php in which I will make HTML form for test query plugin, second file is check.php in which I write PHP code for checking data already inserted into database or not and last is check availability.javascript file. In this file I will write jQuery code for making jQuery plugin. Now we have moved to index.php. On this page I have used jQuery JavaScript library. After this I have make form field. First I have form field for enter username. So I have write input type is equal to text name is equal to username class is equal to input check and data type is equal to username. I will use class name input check as selector of this field in jQuery plugin and from data type is equal to username we will get which field data we want to search in table. After this we have write span tag with class name is equal to input check message and data type is equal to username and close span tag. Between this tag we will display alert message and from class name is equal to input check message is selector for displaying alert message and from data type is equal to username we can identify that we have get alert message for this username field. Then after we have write other like email. So for this I have write input type is equal to text name is equal to email class name is equal to input check and data type is equal to email. We will use input check class as selector and from data type is equal to email we can get field name for which we want to search in table. After this I have again write span tag with class name is equal to input check message data type is equal to email. Between this tag I will display alert message for this email field and I will use input check message class name as a selector and from data type is equal to email we can get that we want to display alert message of email field into this tag. Now I have jQuery plugin file with this page, so I have write open and close script tag and in this I have write source attribute is equal to check availability.js file name. This way we can attach jQuery plugin file with our page. After that I want to call jQuery plugin function here, so for that I have write open and close script tag and between this tag I have write dollar with selector name as input check class name is equal to availability check function. I have used input check class as a selector and this availability check as a plugin function. 
This function is applied to all those fields whose class name is equal to input check. This way we can use jQuery plugin on our web page. Ok finally we have moved to jQuery plugin development code, so I have moved to check availability.js page. On this page I will make jQuery plugin for required field validation and also check data already inserted into database or not. On this page first I have write dollar dot short name of function dot name of the function which is availability check is equal to anonymous function. This function name we have already called on index.php page. This way we can define function in jQuery plugin development. After this I want to check this function is work or not, so for this we have write console.log with text like OK and save this code and check in browser console window. Friends you can see when web page is load, then at that time you can see this OK message appear in console window. That means we have defined proper way function in jQuery plugin. This plugin will check all the fields which have class name is equal to input check and return back result to web page. So for this I have write return statement with this selector dot each loop with open and close bracket and between this we have defined one more function. This will check all form fields with class name is equal to input check and return back result of this function. After this on which event you want to call this jQuery plugin function, here we want to use this plugin function on field blur event, so for this we have write dollar with this selector with on method and in this method first I have write blur event and then after I have write blank function. This code will be execute on blur event of fields with class name is equal to input check. Now in this function I have defined one variable with name is equal to dollar this dot value method. In this variable we will store the value of input field on blur event with class name is equal to input check. After this I have write one more variable input type is equal to dollar with this selector with data method and in this method we have write data name which is type. From this code we can get the type of that field on which we have applied this plugin code, suppose we have enter value of username under username field so we can get type is equal to username and store into this input type variable. Now I have defined one more variable feedback is equal to dollar with selector input check message class name open and close bracket and between this we have write data type is equal to plus input type variable in which we have stored the name of field type like username or email. In this feedback variable we have stored the selector like input check message class with data type is equal to email or username which we have stored under input type variable, from this we can identify where we want to display alert message. Suppose alert message generate for username field then here span tag with class name is equal to input check message and here you can see under this tag data type is equal to username. So here it can identify here alert message must be display. Then after I have write of statement with condition like input value is equal to blank, this code will check if input value variable value is blank then it will execute if block of code and in this block we have write feedback variable dot html method with text like required field. This message will display under span tag with class name input check message class with value of data type which we have stored into input type variable, suppose input type variable value is email then it will display alert message here and suppose input type variable value is username then it will display here. But suppose input value variable has some value then it will execute else block of code and in this block we have write feedback variable with HTML method with blank value, that means it will not display any message on web page.
friend you can see that when I have not write anything under username text box and go to next field then at that time it display message like required field and but when we have write something into this field alert message has been removed that means our code is working. Now we want to check any username and email which enter by user is already present into our system or not without refreshing a page, so for this we have write ajax request. So for this we have write dollar dot ajax first argument url set to check dot php ajax will send request to this check dot php for finding data already inserted or not in second argument method set to post in ajax request we have used post method for sending data to the server in third argument we have to define which data you want to send to the server. Here we want to send input value and input type variable data send to the server. And lastly we have write success callback function. When Ajax request succeeds then at that time this function will be called and this function will receive data from the server which are stored into this data variable. Here we will receive data already inserted or not message will receive from the server, so we want to display that message to span tag with class name input check message with data type is equal to email or username, so for this we have write feedback.html method and in this method we have write data variable in which we will receive from server. Now we have moved to write PHP code on check.php page for checking data already inserted into database or not. On this page first we have write of statement with condition and in this condition we have write set function with two argument like dollar post input value variable and dollar post input type variable. This condition will set this two variable is set or not. If both variable are set then it will execute if block of code and this both variable we received from Ajax request to this page. After this we have make database connection so for this we have write connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host is equal to locale lost, username is equal to root, password is equal to blank and database name is equal testing. This way we can make database connection. After this we have store post variable value into local variable so for this we have write type variable is equal to strength lower function and in this function we have write trim function and between this function we have write dollar post input type variable. This code will remove white spaces and convert string to lower case letter and store into this type variable. Then after we have write value variable is equal to trim function and in this function we have write dollar post input value variable, this code will remove extra white spaces from string and store into this value variable. Now I have write if statement with condition like dollar type variable is equal to username, this condition will check if type variable value is equal to username then this will execute this if block of code. In this block we have write query for check username already inserted or not, so for this we have write query variable is equal to select start from table register where user column is equal to value of value variable. This way we can make query for search username already inserted into register table or not. Now we have write of statement with condition like type variable value is equal to email. This condition will check if type variable value is equal to email then it will execute this if block of code. In this block we have write query for searching email into register table already inserted or not, so for this we have write query variable is equal to select start from table register where email is equal to dollar value variable, this query will search email already present or not. Now we want to execute this query so for this we have write resolve variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument like database connection string which is connect variable and second select query which is store into this query variable, this function will execute this query and store my SQL result into this result variable. Now want to get number of rows in my SQL query result.
If number of row more than zero that means data already inserted into database and it will fire one message which will to the user on web page. So for that we have write of statement with condition like miss clean num rows with one argument which is resolved variable greater than zero. Miss clean num rows function return number of rows into my SQL result and in this condition will check if number of rows greater than zero that means data already inserted into this database and it will execute this if block of code and in this block we have write echo statement with message like this data already exists and this will display to user on web page without page refresh. So our code ready. Now we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friend you can see one HTML form with two fields like username and email. When we have not enter any value into text box it display required field message. But when we have enter username is equal to John Cena and leave this text box and go email text box at that time it display this data already exists message appear on web page and we have go to email text box and enter John at the rate Cena.com and leave the message at that time it again display this data already exists. That means out query plugin proper working and it go to check.php page back end and search all these things and send back result to index.php page with the help of Ajax request without page refresh. But when we have enter other data then after this alert message has been removed from the web page. So friends this is my video tutorial on how to make a jQuery plugin for checking data already exists into database or not and this jQuery plugin also check required form validation on input form fields. This all process has been done by backend side without refresh of page. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video tutorial on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.